so I'm back for a session today on our normal Saturday sessions and I'm telling you it's jam-packed I'm gonna try to get it all in because it's a lot going on and since I have so much more time in my studio with us all um, just sort of being in and would have you I've come up with us some other techniques oh I'm like you guys can see my hands are moving all around the place I'm excited and I was laughing before I turned the video on and those of you who follow me for a long time know I'm pretty laid back pretty chill kind of person and all that kind of stuff but I'm gonna have to tell you I think I've just crowned my own self <laughs> has self-proclaimed empress of old walls on the jelly plate yes my friends I came up with two new techniques one I'm calling Venetian walls and the other one I'm calling calling gilding so these are going to be gilded walls and Venetian walls and I'm going to show you that in this video because we're going to do some jelly printing then I'm going to show you exactly how um, I'll do a try to have enough time to do a glue down session so we can keep on going so a lot to do so let's start off with my April printables are out so these are the printables for this month yummy if I have to say so myself so I'll be using this one today in my journal and I've done it on onion skin so you can see on onion skin and this is on a, a matte photo paper so I've got them all on basically a let me see what the pound is real quick it is a 30 32 pound so it's a 32 pound um, inkjet matte paper and then this is our beloved onion skin so I've done this one on onion skin this is also just another print this isn't in the pack but I have it on onion skin because I'm going to work it in with this print here. This is also in the pack and this is on onion skin. So I was playing between which one I was going to use today, this one or this one. But I think I'm going to go with the first one I showed you. But this is in the pack in the printables. So I'll just go through these real quick. So this one, this one. This right here, I'll put this to the side. These are in there, but I'm gonna explain them. So in the printables pack, one, two, three, four, five. This one, yummy, yeah. Oh, so I've taken, I've done a lot of collaging with my jelly prints. Mostly it's my jelly prints or some of my ephemera or coffee stained paper is in here. This is more of my papers. A texting this one so cool mm. and this one so there are 10 in the printables and oops, and this month I also added in a bonus these three will be as a bonus so when you go to download it um, when you go to get them there'll be two sets in the link when you open the link up and these three are bonus prints that I put in because they go with last month's printables and I had done these up and I really love them and uh, so I just kind of added them in with this month's collection but they go with last month's but there's no reason why I mean you couldn't work them together they're all designed to work together and interface interface you know together so it's no reason why you couldn't but I added an extra three in because guys you those who, of you who hang out with me all the time know I just can't give you what I said I was going to give you. I always got to give you more because I like to treat others the way I like to be treated. So when I get extras and people send me happy mail and extra little goodies come my way, I'm excited. So I've laid, I've laid these out so that you, they could literally be journal page spreads if you want it to them be. Or they don't have to be. They can be torn up and used any way you want. So some of them will have um you know journal spots and things you can cut these out you can cut the whole piece out and then put them on put them over top of maybe a section like this because these colors here would go there so they're meant to interface they're meant for you to use them as pages you can cut them up they can be backgrounds for your own collages and when I work in the in the journal today that's exactly how I'm going to show you I'm gonna lay them down so that this page will end up being a background so that next week when we come back 
and work I'm actually going to collage over top of them and some of you have already been using them like that and I think it's fabulous how you've been laying them down just as you know starter places on your um, on your pages and then see I think this one goes well with the one I had already put down which was one of those one-off um, prints that we did when, when I was cleaning my plate that was a cleaning plate print and then I coffee stained it so I thought this one went well with that yeah oops on this side I'm looking in the monitor so I'm gonna play with these on that page so I'll get our book out the way for right now so that's the first thing I wanted to show you is the April printables they'll the link will be below this video they're only six dollars I'm gonna keep them six dollars every month um, and there'll be a bunch of chunk of good stuff in there that you can just use any way you want like I said just have at it um, the second thing is I'm gonna be playing with these mica powders that's where I had this oh, download of uh, new walls you guys are gonna be excited to see this it's coming I'm gonna get ready to jump into it I just got to do all of my little notes but Arteza they are I mean I just love this company and I'm telling you I would not be working with them if I wasn't but they're just constantly sending me their new products they have added they never give me any restrictions never will do it this way say this don't use other products with our stuff none of that they just let me have added and when a company allows an artist to do that boy you can do I mean like so many new ideas come up because I'm not restricted I don't feel like oh I can't do this I can't do that and so I just figured out a new way to work with these micro mica um, powders and it is cosmetic grade there are so many colors in here I mean there's 60 of them and these I've been using these bottles of course you know I've been loving gold and I still have a ton of gold and I've been I've had a couple of sessions so they really do last a good while but Arteza is doing a giveaway so from now through um, I'll have the dates below the video but if you go over to their site and I'll have the link below the video and you just comment on why you love art um, just put a comment in their feed they're going to do a drawing and they're drawing two $100 gift certificates to get whatever you want on their site all you have to do is go over there um, and follow their their page and just say why you like Arteza and that, that's all you need to do to enter enter you into a drawing and hey why not um, because should you win it boy that'll be a nice little shopping spree so I talked about the altered book I got my notes over here I talked about the altered book which we're going to get back to and the jelly session we're going to get ready to jump into and the other thing I want to talk about is the brushes I'm going to be using this brush right here which is the Wanji brown synthetic brush it's the Levin's on brushes and any of you who've been following me for a while know that my favorite one here that I've had for all three of these brushes literally and I have more but these three I've bought individually over the years um, and I've had these at least 25 years for sure you know for sure I've had them that long and you guys have seen me work with this one all the time it's like my fave this is Russian sable and that's what I do all my scripting with so anyway um Tracy reached out to me because I started sending so many people to him so many of you guys who follow links and bought him and he said hey Robin you know I just want to offer you a little commission or something if you sent so many people my way and I'm like oh wow that's nice of you to reach out <laughs> And offer that I said but um, I'm not so much worried about a commission I would like to keep on testing the brushes because I want to create a line of brushes that we could actually use on our jelly plate because the Russian sable and sable and the silver fox you can't mix the acrylics in them and I'm like so protective of my brushes but this one is beautiful and you can use it in inks and synthetics like I said this is called the Wanji brown synthetic brush and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use it on the plate with these yummy mica powders um, and there'll be a link this brush is 55 and he's so generously Tracy is the owner of the company now he so generously offered a discount and I can't remember what it was but I want to say it was it's at least 20 percent so that'll go a long way for really cutting these brushes down so I'm gonna have that link 
below the video and I just said hey so many of his shows have canceled um, so many of artists are just wow you know so much is canceled and several of my own workshops have canceled so I said listen you don't have to pay me a, a commission on this just give my you know my um, viewers and my creators and followers a nice discount that way he can make up from some of his show laws you guys would get the um the discount and i just get the benefits of being able to work with this brush and designing a line of brushes that will have my name on it so we're gonna have some specials going on but anyway right now let's get going so i think those are all my notes so all of the april printables will be below tracy's brushes the Levinson brushes will be below and the arteza links will be below for the giveaway so that's all good stuff um to connect with during these times when we're you know in the house so let me tempt you with what we're going to be doing so this is what we're going to be getting to so this is the gilded wall this is the gilding and this beautiful gilded surface that you're seeing on there I got with the mica powders and some in our acrylic paints but that first layer is all mica look at this this is on tissue <gasps> you look at this isn't that yummy all of that sheen you see every bit of it that looks like gilding and that's all the powders here's one with my scripting wherever you see that all of this coloration uh, and it's it's just even better in person now look at this one this is what I call the Venetian plaster now you can see why I call it this because let's see you see where you can see the doll the mat oh, come on it's always trying to get it right come on okay you see where it's matte like right in this area and then you see next to it you can see the sheen isn't that how Venetian plaster will do? It'll be period. There'll be places where it's all matte, and then you get that beautiful, just, um, you know, surface that just has that beautiful glow to it. That's one of them. Here's another one, and of course I did some had playing with some scripting on it because another thing I have coming soon are some stencils and rubber stamps. Yes, I. Finally, or am in production with my scripting and some of my other um, images and stuff that you guys like. So it'll be a stencil line and rubber stamps. So that'll be coming. But look at this. That's not yummy. Look at that. Oh. And this is just some more. I mean, I could. I. I'm gonna get started. But look at that. You see, that's all the powders. All of that. That you see there are the powders now there's no binders in them it's just it just comes as these powders you can use them for anything I actually put some just in water and did some watercolor on the plate and then pulled some images like that uh, I didn't pull that one up but oh, let me show you real quick this is the same thing using watercolor and that sheen that you see on there, that's the powders. Let me see if I can get a really, that, the sheen that you're seeing, try to get a good angle of it. It's all across the surface, but you know, it's kind of, some kind of time, sometimes it's hard to pick it up. So this is nothing but watercolor and yeah, and the powders on there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm. So, so I was playing with that so it floats in waters nicely they're really I don't know they're very very fine they're not like um, gritty or they're literally like a powder like I could see how you can make eyeshadow and stuff with it literally so um, so they don't have binders they're just a powder you can so I like I said I put it in water I put it in some of my sumi inks nicely they work well with your paints you could literally turn some of your regular paints probably into I mean you could because we're, you'll see when I start working and the other thing is that of course you could make alcohol inks out of them and I thought about that but since alcohol is a precious commodity right now I didn't think that that would be 
the most friendly one to show right now. We have to use all of our alcohol up where we need them just to make sure that we have, you know, protection with our hands and germs and all that stuff. But when we, and plus it's hard to find alcohol in the stores anyhow, but when we get on the other side of all of this, then certainly alcohol inks too. No problem. Okay, so let's get started. So my plate is basically, and when I started putting it on, they sent me one of these um, palettes. And I'm telling you, I started using it to keep my jelly plate in place <laughs> because it doesn't move around. And I find when I had it on the plastic back and it was moving all the time. Plus, it kind of helps me to keep everything neat. Okay, you're wondering what, why I have it like this. Well, let's get started. So where I'm going to start, since there's nothing on this plate right now, you can do it either way. You can do it straight on your tacky plate. You can do it when you start having layers built up. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to start off. And I'm going to show you this on. Okay, so my puppy's going to start whining. Uh, Aston, stop. Um, so, you know, I just got a little bit. It's not a lot on there. You'll see. And um, it's best just to kind of. I kind of start up high and just let it just kind of tap it around a little bit. So this one is called, oh, this is the MI Aztec Gold. There's a several golds, and I'm loving them. So what I like to do is kind of get them around the place like that. I think I'm going to use that Aztec Gold and this champagne. They have this, you know me, the champagne color is really nice. So I'm just going to do a slight little mixture here. To get us started and I'm gonna do this on some black paper so you can really kind of get a feel for the gilding so you see I'm not using a lot it's just these little spoons and hold up let me just let my puppy in because he's not gonna be happy come on you can hear him walking in on the wood floor can't you <laughs> okay have a seat my friend so anyway, um, let me get his little spot here. I'm having a video, Aston. You can't sit in my way. Okay, so now I'm taking this brush. Oh my God, you could use any brush. But if you, if, I know a lot have been asking me about my brush and doing the scripting. And this is going to allow us to do a lot of different things on the plate. So I'm just using this brush right now, dry brushing, because the, the fine hairs, they, they see they open up. So on these Sumi brushes, they open up where a regular paint brush is kind of stiff. You know, if anything, you do better using a makeup brush, maybe because these powders are so fine. We just really want to get them around the plate. So I kind of spread them out on the plate because I did them when I just kind of let them fall and pulled them up. And that just I didn't like that. That looked a little too you know not right so see how it's laying there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking um, I'm just going to do the gilding so we're just going to take the playful pink you can use any of you can use the champagne gold with Martha Stewart you have you can use any of the light golds because we're just really doing a gilded layer so just really get a nice layer here and I think I'll just put using this little kind of hole thing that one of my students gave me at the workshop yeah I like it and now we're just going to lay this down this black paper so that you can appreciate the vibrant you know colors and just how beautiful oh my goodness and it's so much of it. I don't. I think it would take a long time for us to run out. All right. Okay. Oh, see that? You see what I'm saying? That's all gilding. All of it. Because I put down. I put down the playful pink. So that's a neutral, just with a little bit of iridescence, so that it would play off of the, um, off of the black. That right there, and then. But everything else, it just looks, and it's on there too. It doesn't come off. It's like, oh, love it. So that's that's one way of working with them. Let me use, I know people love the turquoise and the blues and the greens. So let's do a little bit of this. 
so we see how this will come out just kind of spread it around like that so I'm going to use this this is aqua blue and I'm going to use that with I like this ice blue and the colors are the same as their paints paint names so there's some consistency there so let's put that down and let's go ahead and I like like I said really spreading this around the plate and it's kind of like you're burnishing it in as well so let's see which color do I want to use oh I'm gonna tell you what this is gonna look good with so let's use I like to keep on using contrasting colors so you can see what the mica is and what the paint is so we're going to use this um shocking lime green oh love it love those i know that by the time some of you all got to those paints they were sold out so just know that they're going to be back in stock soon if not already and my contact at arteza said hey just when you go to the site and there's something sold out just hit wish list and then as soon as it comes back in they'll notify you and you could always use my coupon code still. Look at this. Ugh. See? So here again, you can see the powders. All of that color there is powders because we only put the green. I know it's hard to really appreciate it because I have to have these lights up here to film. So we're getting a lot of glare. But when you look at it, oh my goodness, it's just like, it's so pretty. The gilding and everything on it, the colors, like that champagne. Oh boy. The ice blue is what I put down. It's just really, really gorgeous. Okay, so let me show you. Um, okay, let me show you. So that's the gilding. So you can do it on the tissue paper. You can do it on card stock it doesn't matter um, you know any paper stock so the gilding takes the powders with an acrylic base so any kind of gloss acrylic I mean yeah gloss acrylic I mean base but now what we're going to do to get the Venetian we need a matte acrylic and you know I love the Blick so I'm going to use the Celadon you guys know how much I love Celadon in the matte so let's get the Arteza the Aztec gold I mean and let's get some of that down so I'm going to start off with that and let's just get some of that mixed around a bit and I've been mixing the golds too because I love you know I love this Aztec but then also using the yellow gold. Get some of that down. So, so of course, we just get a quick session here because we're already on 20-something minutes. It's never enough time. I've already... We've already started playing with this over on my Patreon. In fact, we did a, I did like an hour and a half video <laughs> when I was first just kind of like figuring out all oh, these things. And so a lot of times I test stuff and, you know, my patrons hang out with me and cheer me on. Okay, so this is yummy. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to, um, Oops. Just checking to make sure everything is fine with the video. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just come back with the Celadon. Now, this is a matte acrylic. So, this is the Blick. I love this, but if you um, can get a matte acrylic in another brand or in your country, there's, you can't get the Blick, but you can get a matte of that would be good and if not you can also just take a matte uh, acrylic um, <clears throat> and use it as a matte medium and you can put that on the plate 
and I've done that tons of times where you just pull put stuff down and then pull what you have down there up um let me just get some good old-fashioned coffee paper so or you can take an acrylic color and just put you know a decent a, a little bit of color put some matte medium in if you want some color just to try to you know matte things out Oh boy, look at this. Okay, let's see. And when it dries, even more of that matte finish comes through. But can you guys see it? It is, oh, right there. See? Look at that. That is, it's so, it's like, it's so thin and fine that it's, and it's on there it doesn't come off but it it just it looks it doesn't look like it's it looks like a layer of something on top that step that's different than paint so it doesn't just look like a paint with you know a, a mica in it and then see then I have some of the color oh my goodness let's do okay I also have the mat in the amethyst which is another one of my favorite ones so let's put that down so let's put okay let's maybe put okay let's put this brown mica this chocolate maybe it, it'll be like a little bit more contrasty so you can see it better on the camera I haven't used this this one with the with the um, Aztec, I mean with the Amethyst, so let's give it a shot. Okay. I start, when I started playing with these, I couldn't stop. Literally. And uh, it's going to be hard for me to pull myself away now because we need to get on to doing the, um, just laying these pages down so that we can see where we are with that. I'm just trying to give you guys a lot of ideas to get through the week. So... You know, just kind of play with your things that you have. If you're so inclined, go ahead and grab. Now, see, I still have some of the the green mat on here, which is going to be good. Because it'll just pick up color. Let me see if I can pull it on some tissue paper. The reason why I say let me see is because I don't know. I'm hoping that I'm just going to try to lay it down fast and then pull it up. You know, because we don't want the tissue paper to stick. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. No, look at this. Okay, see if you can see it. Because the camera is going to just, okay, see that? The camera is like going to pick more of, of this, this part up. But when it dries, it's even going to be, but see the brown, <gasps> that chocolate with that amethyst is just yummy. And when you see these papers, like in the camera right now, it's really picking up this brown as just splotches. But oh, I'm gonna tell you what we'll do is I'll do a little. But it's no, I'm not gonna mess with it because I really like it. It just maybe look a little. See if I can just kind of <clears throat> get this. See, see that. Oh. Gorgeous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little mixture. Let's put some green. See, I'm going to just keep on going. Oh, boy. This green is moss green. So I'm going to put some of this moss green down. And I'm not going to put a lot. And I'm going to put some of the gold. And I'm going to put the Aztec gold. I just kind of get the colors close together and start mixing them together.
Okay, so I'm going to go back to this Celadon. I'm purposely putting, putting it down in a way that I leave space between it so that we can really get the plaster look when, when it dries down. Now I don't want to put that because I want to just be able to see the full color. We don't need to do stenciling so much. So I have another technique that I came across that I figured out that I'll show you when I show you my stencils. <laughs> I'll debut that technique then. Here we are. Oh boy. And see now we're going to get that brown that's underneath there. Because it's the same thing when things lay on the plate. And look how we got the lines from where it didn't pick up all the color here. So we kind of got the ghosting of it. So you see how it just builds up. And we just can build up these incredible, beautiful old wall. So you get this sort of, when it as it dries. Let me see if I have one of them that... With the earlier one because when it dries down it's just more of that plaster look just comes through you can sort of see how smooth you know venetian past plaster is really smooth and just like like you don't see any brush marks you don't see anything in it. it's just buff that's the word i'm looking for that's what this does and i think it's because i'm buffing the micas on the plate so you kind of get that buff look and then when the curly goes down on top it picks up and then, of course, to finish it off, you know, I've got to do um, do a pull with the quinacridone ozo gold because it is just yummy. So we're going to put a pattern down like that. And it's yummy with, of course, Aztec gold. So... Better just to take out little bits and knock them around the plate than a lot on there because it kind of has a tendency to clump though. You can brush it around, but okay. So let's kind of move it around the plate a little bit here. And don't be afraid to kind of just you know take your time and move it all around get everything covered that you want covered because I think it's that moving around it's kind of like way you put makeup on ladies <laughs> you know how you put your when you put your um, blush on and stuff the more you take that blush brush and just kind of blend it in the smoother finish you get I, I, I think it's a similar thing okay I'm gonna pick the plate up so if you can kind of see see how it's laying on the plate I mean, oh my goodness. That's why we're getting that surfaced. So let's put some quinacridone ozo gold down. Just a bit, because you know we don't need a lot of that. And uh, let's go ahead and. I know what I'll do. I'll go ahead and show you how beautiful that brush makes a mark with Asumi ink since we're finishing this up. So I'll go ahead and pull this, get that image. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. I mean, can you stand it? That's all. All of that is Aztec gold. Look at that. And we're getting little bits and pieces of the celadon and the amethyst and the matte. And when it dries, you just get that perfect bit of matte. But you see how that laying over top of the um, ozo gold, you just get this gilded. I mean, that's like gilding. Ugh. So yummy. So let me just go ahead and let me see if I can find a place to just throw a little bit of ink down in here. Because this brush is just gorgeous. 
a little bit down here and I'm just going to I'm going to put um, a little bit of the quinacridone again. You guys know how I, how I uh, have been doing this for quite a number of years. This whole idea of using quinacridone ozo gold and then doing my sumi over it or my intuitive scripting as I like to call it. And, um, and then pulling that in. Whew. Okay, so now since this is synthetic, we can literally use the brush right on top of the ink while it's um, like I don't have to worry about the fact that I just got acrylic on this brush. Now I don't want to let it dry or anything. I'm going to, you know, and having a little bit of water next to you just to, to dip it in there, but you don't even want to do that to Sable. It just will ruin it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, but look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a brush. Look at that. Oh, look at the line on it. And we were able to do it right on top of the wet um, Quinac nickel ozo gold and I haven't been able to do that before because I never wanted to ruin my brush and you know I just couldn't find a sumi brush I've used the cheap brushes but the the um the let me see this is just one of these cheapo brushes but the problem is that see the the bristles get really wide and even when you wet them down and you go to do them on the plate um it's something to do with the the gel ne nature of the plate they just open a splay on you. Whereas you saw how this one just really, it just flattened out. It just did what it needed to do to give me some, a line on this plate. And it's still, it's stuff on there. And I was able to do that right there. So I promise we're going to stop. But <laughs> well, let's just pull this. So let's just put a little bit of... Um, I know you guys say, would you use some other color besides gold? Okay, let's use the pink because this pink is pretty. Because all the colors are gorgeous. Let's put this down. I'm going to pull that up. And since I put the thing on, I'll use this for doing this. Okay. Get some gold. Gotta get a little gold around the edges. Okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Get some of that. Oh, that pink is so pretty. Mm. Okay, so that's that. And then let's put down some quinacridone ozo gold again just a thin layer this does a, such an incredibly good job especially when I want to pull a super thin layer of color and I want to get that ink up as well it just has grabbing powder it power it just goes down and grabs things just beautifully yep and it gets it, everything off my plate <sighs> Okay, I'm going to stop after this because if I don't, I won't stop. Look at that. And see how those powders, see the pink? Oh my goodness, look at the pink underneath there. Here are the planes going overhead. Um, and then the gold, I mean, it's just gorgeous. On this really thin tissue paper, it looks like gilding. And as soon as it dries, it's like the thinnest, most beautiful. Oh. So, okay, let me put things aside. So that's an introduction to one of the ways I was using the mica powders. Got a few other things, a few other tricks up my sleeve, but we'll stop there. Because when I was working, I came um, up with, oh, sorry, a number of things. But let me just clean this brush a little bit because I can't, I can't walk away with that like that. 
and then also so I have a little bit of water here and then what's good too is to just go ahead and use a wet wipe and then I just kind of clean it and then just kind of hold it like that with some moisture until I can clean it after we finish our session that way my even though it's synthetic you still have to treat your bristles proper like okay so I'll move these out the way so the links for everything is going to be below hope you guys are ex as excited as I am because I have a watercolor technique that I did with these we know we can make our alcohol inks when we can get back to that um, and just now I showed you two let me get my book two techniques um, let me get this using you hear me moving around, don't you? Two techniques using. Here we are. The um, the very the matte paints or the matte acrylics or got to wash my hands. I'm wipe my hands off a little bit here. I'm not ready to touch my book. Um, and using the matte acrylic, which beautifully does the Venetian wall, and then any of the acrylics, any of your you know, gloss acrylics with it makes the beautiful gilded walls. So those are our gilded walls and our Venetian walls. We already know we have our old walls. We have all kind of wall techniques, don't we? Okay, so I want to go ahead and, and, and show you how I'm going to lay this down. So if you guys grab these packs, you can go ahead and start working through your... Uh, where's that other one? You can work through your pages I'm sure you guys have gotten ahead of me you should because oh look at this oh, that'll end up going on one of my pages as we go through this oh love it all right stay focused Robin okay so I'm not going to actually do a lot of the you know actually finishing the pages but I'm going to get us started because let's see what portion of this do I want down oh maybe I'll do it this way oh I like turning it on its side that way okay so let's go ahead and um, rip this so I printed these, um, I didn't print them to the edge because, I mean, to the full, which, you know, no border, borderless or whatever, because I have to do a, a certain setting on my machine. And then sometimes it makes it on my machine, I know it'll make it bigger. And then I've got to go in and really reset it and adjust. Um, didn't do all of that, so I'm just ripping it off like this. I'm loving this book. Okay. Let's go ahead and figure. So we put this down like that. Well, I like how this works in with that line right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and take some of this off. Keep all those little pieces because we can use them for future collaging. We're using them to make our, our own uh, the, the DIY stamps. You can use them for that. Okay. Let's see, because I kind of did that inside the page. I think I'm going to do this similarly. So there. Okay, wait a minute. I think I got that a little crooked. Let me get my... Where's my... Okay, a cutting board. Where'd it go? 
All right, I'm just going to eyeball it. But I definitely didn't get that one straight. Let me just lay this down and get this edge started right because I want that bottom to work properly. So let's do this. I can use this to... Okay, so that should be better. So I put this here so I get a similar line there. Okay, that's better. Alrighty. And then over here, I come in about right there, do the same thing. Thank God these little blue lines are on here. If I don't have my cutting mat, I'd be messed up. <laughs> I tell you, I love these. I love doing these collages, if I have to say so myself. And I, I'm loving these digital kits and just kind of creating these collages. Oh, I love it. So what I'm going to do is probably take that off once we get to that edge. Because I want to get it right. <laughs> okay. I guess not that it matters but yeah I'll take it off then so let's go ahead and glue these up got my new glue sticks because I was kind of like running out of my yuhu and that's not a good thing and then when I heard Amazon was slowing down its things it's uh you know its deliveries were going to take longer and I was like oh and I was only down to a couple of sticks of my on my glue stick I thought you know what I think I better go and order just come across so I kind of get everything in the all over the page and then I just come and um, get it on the edges so that I know it's going to stick better. Okay. Oops. So let me turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Just kind of trying to line this up basically top to bottom. Put that in there like that. And then bring this across. I love working with the onion skin, except for, boy, did I get that off. All my careful planning. Got to remember that I'm trying to keep this going top to bottom. Okay, come on. I feel like. It's that time of year out here in Arizona where it's just pulling moisture out the air. And I tell you, things dry record speed. It's not even a joke. Okay. Okay, there we are. That's better. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on here in this gully. I'm not too crazy about that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my scissors and just kind of get rid of a little bit of it. Nice sharp straight edge here will solve that problem. Okay, good. I don't want to see the white of the page, but I didn't want to see that much onto the other side as well. Uh, love this I love how this is working with this um, other side I guess the, the background colors help too you know the fact that this is coffee dyed and this I this collage I did on a coffee dyed background you know oh, I love it Oh yes. Okay, so let's get rid of this bit. Just go 
ahead and should be able to rip this off, no problem. Onion skin rips really well. Let's see. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I had, okay. So what I was thinking about is I think I'm going to put this piece down here. First, I was going to leave the white, but I want to leave that there. So, okay, let's just go ahead. I want to put this piece down just to see, but I'm not going to do too much more right now because we're running out of time. And just so I repeat for those of you who are new to the channel, me running out of time is not self-imposed. It's just the way the algorithms for YouTube work that um, it doesn't, oh, here. If, if videos are too long, like I'm already gone beyond the threshold. The fact that I'm at 50 minutes, they don't push out long videos. They don't want, so if you monetize a video, which we all do because that helps to cover expenses for, you know, doing all of this. And it's not but a few cents per um, video, but I mean, it does help me buy supplies and stuff, so I'm not going to be a naysayer. Oh, look at that. Um, I said I wasn't going to do a lot, but I know. I said that. I think what I want to do right here is bring a little bit of this into it on this side. So anyway, what happens is that because, you know, they 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 have advertisers and sponsors and all that kind of good stuff. And so their thing is bit of this let me try this so anyway their thing is that you know people don't look at videos beyond a certain period of time and then you know all that space is wasted um we're sponsors they can be pushing out shorter visit videos to get more sponsor ads that's really the true reason so what why do i care well because I always hear so many people saying, oh, I'm just finding your channel for the first time. Well, a lot of times the reason why that's the case is because, how do I want to do this? Is because, hmm, I like this here. I just want to do, what do I want to do? I know you're probably saying, I definitely want this in here. And I don't mind gluing over this a bit. Let's try like this. Let's see. Okay. I think I like that. And I still have to figure out what I'm going to do with this side. But, of course, I said I wasn't going to start, and I am. So I'm going to put some of my stamps on here, of course. Oh, yes, I'm loving it. So I'll go ahead and put this down, and I'm going to stop. So the way it matters to me is because... That's how you guys find me. And if I don't, if my videos aren't being pushed out, then people don't find me. And so I want to build a bigger community of all of us who enjoy doing the kind of work that I do. So I, I, I really do push the boundaries all the time because I'm never really, the ideal amount of time, believe it or not, is between 15 and like 25 minutes is the ideal amount of time for a video length. So I, I fail on that every time. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, but I'll be coming back. But you can see the direction we're going in with this whole thing. I'm loving this. I'm probably going to also bring a bit of this over here. Although I like how I'm seeing here I am just faint through there without all the other words. And I don't know. I might not do too much more to this myself. Okay, let's take a little strip off the side of the page. I think the only thing I may do to this side is come back with some stamps and do the mail art stamping and stuff on it but i think pretty much actually i'm loving the simplicity of this print and how it's working with this side that's got yeah so we're gonna i think i'll do some over stamping would it be good if i had some white ink i could over stamp there and then put my stamps down so okay i'm gonna stop there because i'm kind of out of time but that's the reason why 
but I think I packed a lot into this 50 minutes, a lot for you guys to work on. So here once again, love you all. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Follow all the links below for things that you may want or just want to even check out. Um, and if you like the video, please like it, thumbs it up and um, subscribe if you're new. And next week we'll be back using more of our jelly prints and continuing to work our next pages in our book. So we're coming along. So we're getting there. <laughs> all right, guys, take care. Love you all. Take care of yourselves. Please stay safe out there and just, you know, observe the guidelines that make you feel comfortable and what have you so that, you know, we're all on the other side of this healthy and still can show up and do our art and have a good time. And, you know, we love our country and we just want to, um, you know, just have it back. Right. So we will. All right, guys, take care. Love you all. Bye bye.